inspired by the Iowa Fly, the microelectronic systems laboratory at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology has developed a camera that takes pictures from nearly all angles and projects 3D images. Over 100 cameras, similar to those used in the mobile phones, are crowded into a metallic hemisphere the size of an orange. Algorithms calculate the distance between the camera and the objects being filmed in order to do the 3D reconstruction, allowing us to see images in a whole new way. Take a look to see how it works. So the traditional cameras have two main problems. The first one is that they only observe a tiny portion of the scene in a specific direction. And the second one is that a traditional camera works by projecting light onto a two-dimensional photosensitive array. And so it completely loses the sense of depth for the third dimension. This camera that you see here, the panoptic camera, solves both problems at once because it can see the information located all around itself and at the same time it can compute the distance to the objects in the scene surrounding it. So it solves both problems using this configuration of micro cameras on a curved surface. So the design was inspired by the eyes of most common insects like the housefly. These insects have omnispherical faceted eyes, so composed of many uh, photosensing uh, elements. And as you can see here, we also have an omnispherical design in which we have fitted many small cameras. Each of them is very much like the camera you would, you would find in a traditional cell phone. This allows the object to see everywhere around itself. And then using special purpose algorithm, which we have built on this dedicated hardware platform, the camera is also able to compute the depth to objects in the scene and then recreate a very accurate uh, version of reality. There are many possible applications. For example, this camera could be fitted on an autonomous robot to use as a visual system and help it navigate in a complex scene because it would see everywhere around itself and it would be able to automatically measure the distance to opticals. Likewise, you could imagine putting it on a car and use it as a proximity sensor. It could be used for gaming. You could imagine using this camera as a depth scanner Oh, being in a town, computing the 3D model of the town, and then offering this as an immersive reality for gamers. It could also be used for media uh, production, like you could imagine having several of these cameras inside a scene, and that would allow the producer to then recreate a virtual viewpoint of the scene from any possible angle. Imagine a sport event where you would be able to watch the event as being one of the players. You would be able to walk on the soccer field, you would be able to stand where the goalkeeper is, Imagine being at a concert and decide to see the concert from the audience or then suddenly walk on stage, get closer to the guitarist or the pianist. This would be possible with such devices. The Microelectronic Systems Laboratory has found a way to incorporate biology with technology in their 360 degree camera. Using multiple cameras to create a more detailed and multidimensional picture is an innovative change in perspective.